What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're doing Goosebumps episode 2. Now if you missed the previous episode you should really go and watch it, I'm not going to spoil it. It was really, really ended badly for us, or for me, it really ended badly. So if you want to laugh, you know, get get maybe a little jump scare, you know, go, go, go back and watch it. Why it says game over, if you want to find out, go, go back to the first episode. Uh, ah, the familiar sights and sounds of the woods. The path leads over the bridge and turns into some trees. Now let's... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What is this? It's a bottle of weed killer with a handy to set. You know what? I, I know what to do. I know what to do. You cross the bridge and head deeper into the woods. There's that creepy... Dumb, stupid guy. Well, he's not a guy, clearly. Let's talk to him. You start to ask the man if he's lost, but he grunts at you unint unintelligible. Well, you stupid weed monster or vine monster. Let's see if this works. Ha! On a hunch, you raise the weed killer and pump the trigger three times, spraying the strange figure. He recoils violently as it hits his face. Smoke rises from the wounds, and you smell something like freshly cut grass. Good! You stupid guy! Good! You deserve it! He retreats to, uh, to the foot of a hill before falling down and cowering. Good. Good! The hill rises up and creating a kind of a wall around the clearing. It's too steep to climb. There's a clearing just ahead with a really cool tree. Maybe you should go take a look. What's this way? You're halfway home, just a bit further down this path, and you can head up to the street. Well, we have to go. Come on, let's go to the cool tree, man. Let's go to the cool tree. Cut through the trees and travel further into the woods. Whoa. You reach the big tree and take a nice deep breath. Ah. The air in this spot smells cleaner somehow. Wow, okay. Is there anything around like that? The rest of the trees are back away from the big one, like they're giving it its space. This tree is so big it must be incredibly old. If you wrap if you wrap your arms around it, your fingers wouldn't touch, not even close. Tree okay, so it's just the same. You turn and head back. Well, there's nowhere else to go. That was cool. Let's let's talk. He doesn't seem to be particularly interested in the conversation at the moment. <laughs> good, good. You deserve it. He doesn't seem to be. Oh, oh, oh! I just said look again. Well, I said look. Yeah. So it's just both the same. Leaves crush under your feet as you walk down the path. Uh oh. This is the end of the woods. You can get to your, your neighborhood just up the head hill. Looks like there's some kind of commotion near the tunnel. A bunch of kids from school are gathered around. They seem really excited about something. Speak. You ask what's going on, but Tyler Elsif just glares at you. Mind your own business, Midas. Well, hey, hey now. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, my dude. I just took out a vine monster. You, you, I don't think you want to be messing with me, my dude. You haul out the fly, have you seen this dog? Short brown fur, about seven years old? N nothing? Come on. Come on. You look for a way through the crowd, but it's just not happening. Oh, come on, man. Okay, well, I guess move up the hill. With large steps, you hike up the slope to your neighborhood. Almost home. You think as you step into your neighborhood, your spirits fall immediately when you notice an accident down the streets. Oh, oh, what does that mean? Come on. The road is completely blocked. You'll need to find a different way around. You hurry over to the wrecked moving van. Well, come on. Ooh, okay, okay. You peer inside the van and see tons of boxes along with um, odds and ends to crash them. A sense of dread creeps up. Uh, oh, okay. 
You'll feel pretty nosy opening these up to look inside. They're probably full of socks and underwear anyway. Gosh, there's more boxes. It looks really authentic. A thin layer of dust covers it all over. You struggle with one handle, but it won't budge. You do manage to kick up a thick cloud of dust. Ooh, a top hat. What a snazzy top hat. You can see a magician wearing it during his act. Take. Well, well I guess, man. With a flourish, you make the top hat disappear into your bag. <laughs> I love it. What? Looks like a fancy portrait. No, it's too dark to see much detail. Okay. A canister of something. You opt to keep your distance. That glow doesn't bode well. A shrunk head. It's one of those shrunken heads with weird olive skin, wispy hair, and high cheekbones. Its eyes and mouth are sewn shut. Take one. Well, I mean, you know, if I, I can have it. It's cold and slimy and drop it into your bag. What, but why are you taking it? Ah, some books. Some non-descriptive books are stacked up in encyclopedias, a thesaurus, a style guide, boring stuff. It's boring stuff, but you're taking it? Well, I'm taking it. You pull out a decent looking book and dust it off, shrugging. You place it into your bag. Oh, you don't really see that there's much anymore. It's a globe, a map of Earth. Spin it. Woohoo! You wind up, then spin the globe with a mighty slap. It spins and spins. Before coming to a stop at Transylvania. Spooky. Why the hell did it stop at Transylvania? A really imposing scarecrow. Pumpkin head, straw hair, threadbare hat. Well, uh, well, that's just the boxes. You feel pretty nosy. The empty box. That's my box is entirely. It says box on the side. It's address to Mr. Goldberg. Name doesn't ring a bell. Okay, let's move. You feel like you shouldn't be here. Uh, shouldn't be here. Uh, you, you, you literally took some stuff, my dude. Okay, uh, let's. Okay, so is there another? Oh, hey, look at Bunny. This is far out of the imploded neighborhood. The creek flows with the drain. Hello, Bunny. Let's pet the Bunny. Oh, huh! what the fuck? With a flash of white, the rabbit disappears into the brush. Okay. And through the tunnel, you get a faint rush of echoing through the other side. Okay, we'll move. You hold your nose and slog into the tunnel, taking care to avoid stepping in the water. Ooh. Oh, I just got chills. You creep into the tunnel unnatural darkness closes in around you. Halfway through you wonder if you'll make it. What is in there? Peer into the darkness far in the distance. You hear a sound like the ocean. I don't know. You're pretty sure it's water but it shimmers with a blackness that normal water doesn't. I don't know. The corrupted clothes way around the groves and a lot. I'm not going down there. There's no move. Don't, don't go down that hole. That's that's a trap. That's a trap. There's no way I'm going down there. This wash runs behind many of the houses on your street. You can hear usually find. You can usually find all sorts of weird junk. Okay, okay. There, there we go. Somebody left a bike wheel. It's a little banged up, but not too bad. It probably still rolls just fine. Spin. You secure the hub of the wheel and spin it with one hand. Seems fine, it clicks and everything. Ah, a shoe. A shoe, just one, lies alone in the wash. Part of you wonders if it's the owner, if the owner is still here. Yeah, let's take it, he's, he's not using it. A chimney? A chimney? How would a chimney even get here? Ah, there we go. Move. You hop across the rocks to the far end and stroll into your neighborhood. <coughs> Holy shit, that thing is ugly! What the heck? Take several large gasps and try to calm down. 
That dog attacked as soon as you entered your neighborhood. Thank goodness it's on a leash. Okay. Woman doesn't look familiar. Maybe she's new in town. Let's use the weed killer on this freaking dog. Use it. Ha 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 ha. You hold that weaker at a tenant of snuff. The dog snaps its vicious jaws, leaving you a split second to yank your hand back safely. You won't be doing that again. Come on. You hold out the trunk head after a tentative sniff, the dog snap. Okay, just the same thing again. How about a top hat? You want a top hat? Come on, you want a top hat, right? You hold out the top hat after a tentative sniff. Oh, okay. Okay, never mind. You nervously stammer hello to the woman who turns in disinterest. I... Sorry about the dog. She looks to have given you quite the fright. Huh? Oh, no, I'm okay. But what, what breed of dog is she anyway? Poodle or something else? Fifi, yes, yeah, she's very rare subbreed of poodle. One prone to temperament problems. Such a pretty dog? I haven't noticed you two in the neighborhood before. Did you just move here or something? After you ask the question, a woman looks up and down and you're not sure what she's trying to judge. Fifi and I are simply having a look around, getting the lay of the land. Some friends of ours came to the area very recently. We want to know if it's a good place to put down roots. The dog's constant tugging has worn away the woman's patience and she sighs. We must be going. Perhaps we will see you around very soon. Well, that was creepy. Ah, there's mine. I have a mailbox. It's a letter, but it's addressed to someone you've never heard of. Must be a past resident. Uh, take it. Look. It's a sheet of coupons for the local dairy freeze. You make a uh, make a note to go there this week. Okay, well let's, let's, let's take it. I mean, let's, might as well. Okay, so is this my house? Na no, neighbors. You're definitely on the right street. You're positive this is your neighbor's house. The girl who lives here used to babysit you. Uh, 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 what's this? My house. An enormous two-story mansion looms over the rest of the neighborhood. Normally it would be pretty awesome, but it's sitting where your your normal boring house is supposed to be. My dude, that ain't looking boring. Let's move in the backyard. What you mean it's boring? Look at that shit. In spite of the weirdness in your neighborhood, your backyard provides a welcome retreat, a peaceful quiet blanket to the enclosure. You don't play in the sandbox anymore, but that is you, not your truck. Are kids coming in here and using the sandbox? Well, take it and... Yeah, yeah let's take that too, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's take that too. Search. You force your hands into the dirt and root around. It's cool to the touch, but you aren't finding anything interesting. Okay. Just a grill? Get out of here! This is the... Ch Trailmeister Elite Ultimate Grilling System. Yeah, we know that's a pot of crap. Just crouch down and lean your head under the porch for a better look. Look. It's a beat up old cola can. Nobody would think to look in here for a spe Oh yeah, it's Becky! There we go, there's our speaky. Woo! Okay, so can I uh, open? But it's locked. Unfortunately, this door takes a different key than the rest of the house. Okay, so the one I just... Oh. Okay, let's back out. Uh, ah, there we go. Move further down the street to stand in front of what used to be. What do you mean, used to be? Huh? Creepy, what? The large house reaches up towards the ominous sky, its twisted windows portals to madness. This is your address, but it's definitely not the home you left this morning. What the hell is going on here? Well, let's use our key. Oh, there we go. Cross your fingers. You turn the key and the door opens. Maybe it's your house after all. I guess. 
You pull open the heavy door and enter the house. Oh, I just got chills. This is without a doubt not your house. Mom would never let the entryway get this dirty. You can smell the dust and decay in the air. Strange portraits hang on the wall. They're not of anyone you recognize. Um, uh, well... And Stoyan is shut. You can feel a strange injury around and assume it's locked for the time being. Okay. Uh, please? Oh! What the hell was that? The door stands stoically shut. You can feel... Oh no, oh oh no, oh no, oh no! The door stands to. Uh, please? Oh no, oh no, let's get out of there. You heard, yeah, let's hurry across that. That, oh, that get. Who the hell is that? That been into the room, immediately noticing a woman at the table. She eyes you intently, like a hawk searching for prey. Um. It all leads further into the house. Should should we just leave? This door should lead into the kitchen. Let's we duck into the kitchen. I'm not sure who that is. The kitchen looked like a period piece from a time you want nothing to do with. You strain to hear the source of dripping. It's so faint it will be hard to find. You struggle to think of ways to make it louder. You want to track down the drip, but you need to increase the volume. You peer into the drain leading to the garbage disposal. There's something else down there. Something shiny. What can I... Open. You reach down, open, open the cupboards. Let's take that sponge. Let's take the dish up. We never... Five leases. Uh, oh no, 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 I can't do that. Okay, so let's open the dishwasher. Brings your chores into stark relief. There will be time later. Okay. Let's open it. Ooh, something shiny. A talisman. Thank you. Wait, so here is something. You see the neighbor's house from the other side of the window, but it feels walled away. Mom's been a smoothie kick lately because there's easy to eat on the run. I think last. Wait a minute, wait a minute! The, the, the dish up, the dish up, the dish up. Use it. No! Instead, it creates several times. Oh. use it on the garbage disposal. That's a good way to grind up the perfectly good dish up, but it's a terrible way to retrieve an object from a drain. Wait a minute, so is that... That's a good way to grind up a perfectly good spade. But it's ter huh. Let's open the fridge. You grasp it confirm and pull open the fridge. Ah, let's take that jam. Let's take the purple stuff. You're certainly not drink going to drink it, but you find yourself taking the juice anyway. There has to be... Aha! You reach up and open the cover. Woohoo! Purple, uh, purple PB&J! Yeah! These are beautiful curtains that have a modern touch to the complete and the perfect kitchen and so on. Okay, but how am I gonna get that out? Can I use like the old shoe on it? No, I must probably, f I must go and find something. Okay, so we need to come back to this. We need to come back. You back out of the kitchen. We'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. 
Trem is still seated in the room. She idly sips her drink, waiting for you to strike up conversation. Her eyes are almost daring you to do so. Well, let's skip that for now. Oh, no. The den is where the family gathers to watch TV, or just hang out together. You don't want to hang out in this version for too long. You heard your grandfather's clock, but this must be a great grandfather clock. It seems. You move in for a closer look in the clock. Oh, these little tabs seem to mark different years. They demonstrate just how old the clock is. Holy damn! Well, this thing is old. Okay, well. There's something deeply unsettling about this picture hanging on the wall. Okay, so it's just. Let's uh, look at the coffee table. The coffee table just looks great for doing homework while watching TV. So let's try. Look. Television remote. Let's take that. So, uh, okay, so it's just that. Uh, oh, what's this? Take the film, of course. Why, why not? Bookshelf test. You push and pull several books to check the secret passages, but no such luck. Check. You slide so many horses off the shelf and into your collection. Okay. okay let's see around here. Um, and this and there. Play a game. Aren't there enough video games in your life right now? Turn on. You press power, but something happens. No sounds, just nothing. Let's go sit. Ah, you lean back and let the cushion support you. This is the life. Realizing you're still inside a dark, creepy perver... Perver... Perv... Pervis... Version... Perversion of your house, you snap out of it. Okay. Let's, uh... Go, uh... Use... Fast forward, mute, stop, power, nothing seems to work. Ooh, if I can go here. You pass through to the next room. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, oh, I'm getting chills. The laundry room is an oddly welcome sight at first glance. It appears exactly like you left it. Okay. Dry is running at the moment. Open. What the hell is that? You get to find out what this new room could be. Once in the bathroom is locked, you knock the door, there's no response. Oof! Open. It's all gonna handle, but it won't. Take the detergent. Always. And I'm okay, we're good, we're good. Um. And pull the door. Okay, so now I can actually move back and forth. Okay, before we go there, I think we sh I think we should go for we should go see what that lady wants. Strange woman still seated there. Okay, well let's let's talk, lady. Let's talk. A two figure spreads across the woman's face before she speaks. There you are, Midas. Come give me a big kiss. Is she, is she like a like a family member or something. You hastily walk to the woman, then lean into a kiss with her wrinkled cheek. It's clammy and loose. It smells like dust, mothballs, and some spice. You can't quite describe. That's better. Now, Aunt Lila poured a glass of prune juice, your favorite. Down the hatch. Uh, decline. Uh, no, no thanks. I'm not thirsty. Oh, is that any way to treat your Aunt Lila? Your mother wanted me to look after you today. And you're already misbehaving? Suspicious. I don't have an Aunt Delilah. But of course you do. I'm a distant relative and haven't visited since you were very little. No way. Mom would have mentioned you and she never has. Who are you really? Well, of course you wouldn't. I'm from your father's side of the family. Don't budge. 
Sorry, lady, I don't have any idea who the hell you are. <laughs> I'll be waiting here when you learn some manners. Let me save. Let, you know what? Screw it. Let's. Wait, uh, uh, you aren't. You shake your head. Oh, is that in. Oh, uh, apologize. Sorry, Aunt Delilah. That's okay, child. Sit down and have some prune juice your loving aunt saved for you. Let's drink it, I guess. You sit down at your place and lift the glass at your lips. It smells thick, thick and dark. You hold your nose and take a large gulp, hoping to finish it as quickly as possible. It burns as it slides down your throat. Oh no, oh no! Aunt Delilah, what are you doing? Suddenly your muscles tighten, exhaustion creeps over you, and your f vision blurs. You feel older. Your shoulders hunch and your chest sinks closer to the table. A raspberry grows in your lungs with every breath. You think it might be nice to take a nap, just a few minutes as you close your eyes. You look at Aunt Delilah. <laughs> she is laughing. Oh. <sighs> oh well, damn it! <laughs> damn it, Aunt Delilah, what the hell? Okay guys, thank you for joining me. That's gonna be the end of this episode. Yeah, please leave a like and subscribe. And hit that notification bell if you, you know, want to no, we get notified when the new episode drops or any video for that matter. <laughs>